What's up guys? I'm at the Public Library and we're going to take a quick trip through the fantasy and science fiction section. Let me turn my camera around here. This is the fantasy and science fiction section here at the library. This one long run of bookcases. This is where the A's begin. We'll do some browsing. The only thing I see here on the first shelf is the author Joe Abercrombie. I've wanted to read his first Law trilogy for some time, and I will actually start it this year. Moving along, Ben Bova is a science fiction author that I've wanted to read for a long time. He actually recently passed away, and I've never read one of his books. I don't think he ever wrote anything that was super popular, but he was kind of a staple for the longest time of the science fiction genre. And I do want to read one of his uh, military sci-fi books at some point in time. Terry Brooks down here. This is another author. He wrote the Shannara series. I've heard it's a ripoff of The Lord of the Rings. I'm not really sure, but I have wanted to read his original Shannara books. I think he wrote another one called Magic Kingdom for Sale or something like that. Ah, The Dresden Files, one of my favorite series. We have a lot of these here at the library. Very popular. They're always coming and going, being checked out. I highly recommend his Dresden Files. I'm five books into that one now. I've also wanted to read this, uh, this Pierce Brown. He does, what is it, Red Rising is the name of it. It's a YA uh, fantasy series about Mars, I think. I've wanted to read it for some time now. Let's uh, keep on moving along here. This is another series. You know, there are so many series... Uh, science fiction-wise, that I want to read. Fantasy as well. This James Corey. I guess this uh, series of his... What's the name of it? Leviathan's Wake, I think. Exactly. That's the name of the first novel. I guess it's a less science-y science fiction series as compared to the author Alastair Reynolds. I'm not really sure, but I want to read one of his books. There are so many authors here that I just want to give a try. Wow, that's a big old book there. What's this? The Essential Ellison. A 50-year retrospective, revised and expanded. Stephen Erickson. Now, this guy wrote the Malazan Book of the Fallen. I actually read the first book in this series. I'm going to reread it and make my way back through these novels or the series itself. It was a series that I started and backed out of. It's a long one, um, but I will go back to it soon. Here's another author that I really like, and I actually want to read this novel, American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Uh, I read his Neverwhere. Where's Neverwhere? I know we've got it in here. This is the novel of his that I read. He's really popular. People really seem to like him, and I want to read some more of his work. I actually have a book of short stories by him at home that I've yet to read, uh, but will soon. Terry Goodkind. This is the Sword of Truth series, one of the most popular epic fantasy series of all time. I read Wizard's First Rule in this series, and I've also read The Law of Nines, which is a book that's kind of tacked on to the end of the series. Not sure if I'll ever make my way back through those books or not. There's That's one of the most polarizing series, is that one. People either love it or hate it. I've also wanted to read this Laura K. Hamilton for some time and have not yet picked up, ow, whoops, had a cramp, one of her novels. Peter F. Hamilton. I'm going to be reading his Pandora Star soon. He writes really lengthy, uh, kind of sprawling space operas, and that's something that I found myself getting into uh, as of recent. Here's a book that I tried to read. Couldn't hardly stand it. Could not hardly stand it. Battlefield Earth, a saga of the year 3000. Boy, I thought that was poorly written. I remember I made it about 250 pages into that one and couldn't go any further. <clears throat> I want to read Robin Hobb, another author. You know, I'm someone who's recently, over the last couple of years, I've been getting into a lot of epic fantasy and science fiction. And if you watch my channel, you know I read just about anything, from fiction to nonfiction to various different genres. But I want to read this Robin Hobb. I guess Robin Hobb is just an expert writer. This Fool's trilogy, uh, what is it? Fool's Assassin's the first one. I get so many recommendations uh, for Robin Hobb that I absolutely must, must read Robin Hobb. I also plan on my, making my way through the Wheel of Time series. I actually attempted the first book once, and I wasn't a big fan of it. However, I'm more into epic fantasy than I used to be, and I'm going to be making my way through that series. I know I'm going to do it. I'm going to read The Eye of the World this year. 
Might even start a group read for that. Mercedes Lackey. I know I read a Mercedes Lackey at some point in time. She wrote so many books. I don't know if she authored a hundred books or what, but um, I know I read a book by her that I enjoyed. I just can't recall it uh, immediately. I'm going to attempt this author's name. Shishin Lu uh, wrote The Three-Body Problem, which uh, so many people have hailed as a great, really interesting, intelligent physics kind of science, whoops, physics kind of science fiction novel. Um, another author that I haven't read, but <clears throat> George Martin. I have read this novel here by George Martin. This is kind of a prelude to The Song of Ice and Fire. I've also read A Game of Thrones by him, which I thought was a very good book. I didn't go any further. A fan of the channel actually sent me a hardback copy of Fire and Blood, and uh, the, the fifth installment in the series, what was that called? A Dance with Dragons, I have. I'm going to be making my way back through that whole thing uh, very soon. Currently making my way through the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. Now this, if you like space opera, guys, this is a really good book. Chindi. Chindi. I won't even tell you what it's about because I don't want to spoil it. To say anything about Chindi would be to spoil it, but it's a great book. I know it's part of a series. Here's another one in it. I've only read that one Jack McDevitt, uh, but I would like to read another one. I really thought that this was great. If you like deep space kind of stuff, this has a really interesting idea in it. Let's move on to the next shelf here. Mississippi Roll. What's this, edited by George Martin? Yeah, edited by George Martin, a book of short stories. This author here is kind of popular. I'm not sure. I know I had... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Magic of Recluse. I actually have that book at home. Haven't read it yet, but I may. I may. There's so many things I want to read. Um, this was a really popular book recently. I almost picked this out one day when I was uh, browsing, when it was new, when it came out. I was browsing, but did not pick it up. Here's my favorite uh, science fiction author, actually. I highly recommend this novel here. Revelation Space. This is the first piece of a core trilogy that is part of one of my favorite series of all time, the Revelation Space series. I read four or five books in that series. Now uh, I've completed the core trilogy. Here's another one by Reynolds. Um, this is part of a trilogy. I don't think we actually have the first piece of it here at the library, but I do want to read everything uh, by Alastair Reynolds, and I, and I am sure that I will in time. Really popular series here. This is one that I want to read soon. Um, it starts with The Name of the Wind, The Wise Man's Fear is book two. The Doors of Stone will be the third installment in this epic uh, trilogy, <clears throat> which is also kind of a series. I think there's some other works that are part of the trilogy. I'm not really sure, but I will read those. And this is the novel I'm reading at home now. I'm reading my paperback copy of Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. The longest novel I've ever read in my life, it will be. <clears throat> and then it'll be on The Rhythm of War, which is even longer than Oathbringer. I really um, love this Stormlight Archive. There's actually a novella in this paperback that has to do with the Stormlight Archive. I might go back for the novella, because it falls chronologically in between book two and three of the Stormlight Archive. But I just can't say enough about how much I like Brandon Sanderson. He really is a fantastic author. This actually sounds pretty good. Uh, John uh, Sanford, and I'm not sure what this author's name is, C. Tyne? I'm sure I said that wrong, but this one's about uh, some astronomers that notice some unusual activity around Saturn, a uh, spaceship they find around Saturn. It sounds like it would be a good book. Haven't read it yet, though. Considered it many times, though. This is a massive book here. The Priory of the Orange Tree. No idea what it's about, but I'll tell you what, this is a book that I might pick up just based on the cover. A masterpiece, epic fantasy at its finest. So it says on the cover. <clears throat> Neil Stevenson is another author that I've wanted to read. I've really, for years, I've been considering this. I've actually bought several of these. I have them at home. This is like an alternative history type job. Um... The characters in it suddenly realize that they've time travel. I'm not sure, but this is a kind of a popular series by S.M. Sterling, which is an alternative history 
and I want to start reading some more alternate history. Uh, I like the idea of that. Harry Turtledove was actually really popular uh, with alternative histories. Recently, I finished The Lord of the Rings for the very first time, and I was excited to find out that there are background involved with this, the peoples of Middle-earth. I want to read every single piece in this uh, The Lord of the Rings world. I finished the core... Well, it's not really a trilogy. In a way, it is. In a way, it's not. It was originally planned as one novel, The Lord of the Rings epic. Due to paper shortages during uh, the war, they... Uh, produced it in three pieces, interestingly enough. It was originally intended to be a single novel. I really want to read this. It gets such a high rating on Goodreads. Children of Time, by an author's name that I will not attempt to pronounce for you today. That's one of the ones that I'm going to be coming to. I'm going to be working my way around to these uh, in the science fiction genre. This looks cool, too. I might read this just based on the cover. Guns of the Dawn. Harry Turtledove, he's the one that does those alternative histories. I know he writes a lot of war and stuff. Um, I don't think he's a sci-fi author that writes, like, deep space operas. I could be wrong. I actually read this book a couple years ago. The Twilight Zone, 19 original stories on the 50th anniversary. There were some pretty interesting uh, short stories in that collection. Here's Jack Vance, another author, sci-fi that I haven't read. You know, I really just started getting into science fiction not that long ago. So if you're wondering why there are so many authors I haven't read, they're on my radar, though. I want to read this David Weber as well. He does the Honor Harrington series, which is one of the most hailed military science fiction epics of all time. I want to try the very first one in this series and see what all the rage is about. Here's a massive novel. I don't know if this is an Honor Harrington or not. Hell's Foundations. If you like military sci-fi and you haven't tried David Weber, you might want to give him a try. Let's move on to the final section here. We've made our way all the way down. I really love this science fiction and fantasy section. It's nice that we have this really long bookcase here. <clears throat> so many books. So many books. I really want to try this Tad Williams. These books here, uh, these other land books, I think these are a series, a four series, like an epic science fiction, where some kids get stuck in a computer, I think. They upload themselves into a computer. I could be wrong, but I want to read The Other Land. It's four long paperbacks, uh, or hardbacks. The Witchwood Crown by Tad Williams. Tad Williams is a pretty prolific sci-fi author. <clears throat> I personally prefer space opera, but... Um, I'm looking forward to his Other Land series. And that looks like it's it, guys. That looks like it's it. There it is. Our fantasy and science fiction section here at the library. Let me know down in the comments if you have a science fiction or fantasy recommendation for me. I'll head on over to Goodreads and check out each one of your recommendations. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'll see you next time.